Hey everyone, my name is Liz. I am the owner and speech language pathologist at Healthy Speech Solutions. It's an online speech therapy practice designed to help children and adults in North Carolina and Florida. I am so excited to share my new lecture series. It's on how to make reading fun. And then I'm gonna sneak in little tidbits on why is reading important. Everyone always says, gotta read one book a day with your child. But no one ever really talks about the why. Why is it so important to read your child once a day? It's for language development. Ah, so cool. So throughout this lecture series, I'm going to be modeling how we can read a book and make it in a way where it's fun, where the child's engaged. The child suddenly wants to read the book with you. Suddenly we're learning vocabulary. We're learning grammar rules. We're learning how to put sentences together. Oh, it's so cool. And the key is when reading to make it fun, it's the parent or the family member who's ever reading to the child has to be fun, has to be engaged. Because being fun and being engaged in reading can be very contagious to the child to get the child to want to read more. That's the goal. We want to make reading fun. So why is reading important? Reading is important. Let's start with the basics. Reading helps us learn how to hold a book. So for example, here I have a book, it's blown apart, it falls apart. I know that this is the front cover of the page, of the book, I'm sorry, not page. I know that this is the back of the book, okay? I know that this is upside down. I know this is upside down, okay? I know that this, these are, this is a word Bonaparte. I know that these are individual letters that's in Bonaparte. Like I know that's an A, I know that's a P. I know how to flip through the page chips. A lot of children don't necessarily know how. You can give them a child a book that's upside down and they're not necessarily gonna realize it's upside down. So reading to them every single day is a really great opportunity to help a child to learn how to manipulate a book learn how to have the book in the right direction, learn about where the letters in the book are, learn what each individual page, the front and the cover of the book. Oh, it's a wonderful thing to be able to learn something as simple as how to hold a book. And modeling it by reading is going to teach the child how to use a book. So today we're going to just go through just a couple pages. This is from Marjorie Coyler, Born Apart, It Falls Apart. And I'm just going to be modeling strategies to make reading fun. Please note my ridiculous intonation when I talk, okay? My voice is going to be going up. My voice is going to be going down. I'm going to sound ridiculous with this inflection in my voice because I'm going to be making myself really excited. Please note the extra exaggerated features on my face. Anything to do to make it like you're really excited, it's going to make the child excited. You're going to notice that I'm going to be jumping around. I'm not going to be saying, say this, say that. I'm going to be changing my approach a lot. I'm going to be pausing, the expectant pause. You know, I'm going to be asking different questions. I may not be reading what's actually on the page. Okay, so just kind of take a note and make you think, what are some things that you can do to help you read with your child? So, fun apart was falling to pieces. Oh no, what happened? This really shook him up. Show me, say shook, shook. Can you show me shaking up, shaking it up? Shaking, shaking, shaking. So now we're teaching the verb shake, teaching the verb shook. We're trying to work on word imitation. Try to get the child to say the word shook, shook or shake. Okay, we're making it fun. So there is a verb shook. We're trying to make this interactive, engaging. So the child will want to act it out. If the child's acting it out and exercising, the child's going to want to read. We can also talk about the hands. Okay, so please notice the hand. Oops, wrong way. Please notice the hand that we have right over here. That's what I'm going to be focusing on. Okay. So, <gasps> whoa, what dropped on the ground? What is it? I can't tell. Help me. What is that? <gasps> is that a head? <gasps> To use the wrong answer. No, it's a hand. Oh, whoa, you're right. It's a hand. Oh, wow. And if someone who's older, you can be like, oh, what do you use a hand for? And if the child doesn't know, you could say, oh, you can use a hand to write. Oh, you can draw your, you write, use your hand to point. Oh, so many cool things you can use with your hand. Think about all that language that we just incorporated on just a single page. Whoa, especially when he rode his bike. <gasps> what happened to him? Oh, I'm so scared. Let's look 
look at him. <gasps> Whoa, what is that? Pause. Child doesn't respond because child probably doesn't know it's a bike. You can say, oh, is it a bike? Say bike. And then wait. And if the child says bike, great. If the child doesn't, move on. Not a big deal. Oh, what happened? What flew off the bike? Oh, I can't believe it. Whoa. Tell me, what is that? Is that a head? Is that a foot? Child says foot. Oh, yes, you're right. It's a foot. Oh, I can't believe it fell off his leg, his foot. Oh, that's no fun. You can make it even harder. How would you feel if you were biking and your foot came off? Get a conversation going. Oh, or played. Oh, no. What happened to him now? And then the child is going to start probably start giggling because look at that. The hand just came off and the arm just came off. So you can start talking about the arm and then you can say, say arm. What is an arm for? Can you show me your arm? Oh no, how do you think he feels? His arm came off. So there's different ways that you can make reading fun and ask questions that are easy or hard based on what the child is able to do. Okay, another example would be, or visited the doctor's office. <gasps> Whoa, let's ask a where question. If you went to the doctor's office, where is he? And you could say, went to, or you could say, went to the bowling alley. Did he go to the bowling alley? Where do you go when you're sick? And maybe he'll say doctor. If not, that's okay. We're getting conversation going, teaching where questions. So, a lot of different things that I did on this one page, instead of just reading, especially when he rode his bike or played catch. That can be a little boring to a child, just reading strictly what's on the page. All I'm doing is just making it more interesting. Last example here is, oh no, can you believe it? What just rolled away? Can you show me roll? And maybe if it's a younger child, the child might want to start rolling on the ground. The child might think it's funny to start showing you how to roll. And we could talk about then, wow, tell me, what is that? Is that on top of the bed or is that under the bed? And maybe the child knows under, under. And if they don't, you then say under the bed. And then you can talk about the head. You could talk about the body, like the different body parts that's on the head, like your eyes, you see with your eyes, you smell with your nose. And it's all about what's happening on the page. You just kind of go with it and you get a conversation going and you ask questions. You have the child imitate your words. And the key is you do it in a way where it's fun that the child's more likely to work. Kind of cool, right? So I wanted to say thank you so much for listening to my, my first lecture in my lecture series on how to make reading fun. We're gonna have a lot more future lectures and the lectures are gonna be focusing on me modeling other books what we can do to make reading fun. I'm hoping that repetition, repetition, repetition and seeing different book environments will help people feel empowered to be able to know how to help their children read better and also help with language and communication development. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. My website is here at Liz um, is healthyspeechsolutions.com and you can also email me at Liz at HealthySpeechSolutions.com. Okay, have a wonderful day and I hope you guys continue to watch my series. Bye.